Directly, he probably can because uh, the way to get a wrestler down is to overwhelm him. Look at these started, guys, right? Oh, boy. <laughs> I love it. Out of the blue corner, setting five foot seven inches tall. They are. Woo! With a record, two wins and only one loss. Fighting from Family Combat Fitness from Fort Smith, Zach the Maniac <laughs> Moore. Oh, they are not they taking are their intense. eyes off uh -oh. each other. Uh oh. And, and Zach Moore said this cage is fighting his. Fighting out of the red corner, standing five foot ten inches tall. Weighing 144 pounds I'm with getting, a record of two wins. I'm getting excited for this loss. fight, man. Yes, sir. With that, Limits MMA from Batesville, Princeton Foster. All right, he said, no, sir, this is my cage. Dude, I, Both I, these I guys claim in the center. Yes, I sir. I love this. This is great. Mr. Ne Nathan, these guys were staring each other down like I've never seen before. No kidding. This is <laughs> getting hyped. I love that leg kick. Lead with an uppercut. And drop right. The wrestler does what wrestlers do. Like I said, great wrestler. We got a 2012 state champ. He was the very first state champ from his high school. He's proud of that. And he does As he what should wrestlers be. do. There we go. Use the hands well to hide that level change. Drop level. Suck the legs in. See, a lot of guys, they'll, they'll, they'll use their hands and they'll drop levels like him, but they're still doing it from, from so far away that it's, it's, it's evident. My grandma, who's blind, she can, can see, see that coming. Come. Exactly, exactly. I mean, we're uh, getting her contacts, but good job. Oh, right, oh I yeah, see he's underhooking pass. as he's trying yes. to roll out of it. Right to Hang the on to that arm. High-level grappling right there. High-level uh, uh, um, passes right there for Zach. Prince is doing what he can, but man, Zach is so fast, so scrambling, doing everything he can, keeping the weight centered over at the back of his hips. He gets that one hook in. Right now, he looks like he's going to roll over the mount, maybe. Yes, sir. Man, I loved looking at Zach's face, just rubbing right on the top of Prince. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, you're supposed to keep skin contact. Your face is just all over them. That's what he's supposed oh, to do. Oh, he got it under the neck? He does. Yeah, Zach's got that pressure. Oh, he's got the rear naked choke. And wow. Put the rear naked choke down. Fast. The rear naked choke finish for Zach Moore. And that right there is probably going to set him up for a 145 pound title. Uh, more than live. Beautiful win from Zach Moore right there. I mean, he did exactly what wrestlers do. He came in, went down for the double leg, and completely was dominant on the ground. Zach Moore, you know, coming from a camp like uh, uh, Family Combat Fitness with Brian Foster, you know he's going to be able to uh, um, be a hard-nosed guy, but when you got that wrestling pedigree like that, that's going to be a hard thing for anybody to deal with ever. Um, I didn't grow up wrestling. Um, I didn't really even start training wrestling or anything until I was 34, 35. So just, just the first time when you have a high-level guy, first time you feel a high-level wrestler get a hold of you, it's like something you've never felt. It's almost helpless. And, uh, it's something that's always going to be hard to deal with in the cage, especially when they can start mixing those strikes in. Look, good show of respect right now from Zach and Princeton. And that's what this is all about. These guys might have stared each other down like they want to kill each other at the beginning, but that's what the fight game's about. Oh! The little maniacs in the crowd.